How frustrating, how annoying, how brilliant, how fantastic, how strong, how brave. Oh my goodness me, what a fantastic performance from those 11 players or th 13, 14 who ended up on the pitch. One of the proudest afternoons, evenings that I've ever had as a Wolves supporter. Going up, going toe to toe against the best team, undeniably, in England. Free scoring, strong at the back, Man City are an amazing unit with some world-class players and Jack Price and Connor Cody and Danny Bart and Connor Ronan had them all in their pockets for 120 minutes. A fantastic performance and one which will live long in the memory for all the Wolves fans that were there. It really showed the progress that we've made in the last 18 months. From a year ago where we were looking at teams run by Walter Zenger and Paul Lambert that were badly organised and chaotic we saw yesterday an absolute picture of Nuno's football philosophy. He's such a clever manager. He knew that we were going to have very little of the ball. He knew that he had to put 10 men behind the ball for the whole game. The formation that we were playing sort of went out the window after about five minutes after we hadn't had a kick and we were playing 5-5-0. But that didn't matter because all the players were on board. They were disciplined. They were ready to get back and to throw their bodies in front of the ball. And it was a real testament to Nuno's footballing philosophy and yes it was defensive but we still had chances and really we should have come away winning that game in 90 minutes. Brighton and Bakare, he's got so much, so many good qualities, he can get into good positions, he's got pace, he's got strength to get in behind defenders but he's just lacking that last bit of finishing quality. If he'd have really leathered some of those one-on-one -on -one chances, put his foot through it, they may have gone over the bar, they may have gone wide, but he just lacks that little bit of belief in himself. If he'd have scored one of those chances then, he would have been absolutely flying. But now, and I've seen his Instagram or his Snapchat, I can't remember, can't remember which, but he's feeling quite down on himself. But he's got to pick himself back up and if he gets a chance against QPR on Saturday, he's got to take it with both hands. There were people saying, oh, Bonatini would have put those chances away, but the problem is Bonatini wouldn't have got into those positions in the first place. The game plan was perfect from uh, Nuno, holding up City, breaking them down. City, who played such a high line as well, that we were able to have Enna Bakari ready to latch onto a long ball, and he did it a few times. And finally, just to touch on Will Norris, who has played four games for Wolves now and has yet to concede a goal in normal time. Fantastic. He made a couple of really good saves yesterday. And balls coming in from De Bruyne and Sane in at extra time, which he dealt with with ease. He's a fantastic goalkeeper with amazing potential. And I reckon that in a year or so's time, he could be our number one all the time. He's shown himself in these games against tough opposition as well to be a top quality goalkeeper. Now, let me know what you thought about yesterday's game. Did you go? The atmosphere was amazing. 6,000 Wolves fans in that little top tier at Manchester City. And we sang our hearts out. I'm a little bit hoarse this morning. But it was completely worth it to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the best teams in Europe 
and to stop them to be the first team to stop them from scoring this uh, season is a fantastic achievement and one which we need to build on now as the season goes on and first of all on, on Saturday against QPR getting three points there is more important than anything else now. Don't forget to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel for more, comment down below any of your thoughts of yesterday's game, how proud are you of the boys. To me it was up there with the sort of playoff final and the game against Liverpool earlier on in the year, the way that they went about that game yesterday I think in my memory it's going to be up in one of the top games that I've ever seen. See you next time. Bye-bye.